Okay guys, welcome back. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do subtitles. Now you can do this on on a one-to-one -one extraction with TS Muxer, or you can do it after the compression video I showed you. Either way, you can do it at either stage. So if you want to have no compression, once you've muxed the file together, you have to demux it, work on it, convert it over to MKV. Um, if you have the compressed file, you're going to want to demux it work on the subtitles, convert it to MKV. So if you haven't watched the other videos, you can all watch the other videos to learn how to do that. I'm just going to show you at the point of once we've got that file ready to work on, this is what this video is going to be about. So um, I'm assuming that you've already extracted the movie and or compressed it. Okay, so let's continue here. So now that we have our movie X extracted or compressed, we're going to need to demux it. So let's load up TS Musker. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to take our movie. And we're going to go look for Blu-ray 2, Movie X with subtitles. Go to our BDM folder, our stream folder. Open that. Okay. You're going to see this list as we covered earlier. Now this is a one-to-one. -one. The previous Movie X video that I showed, uh, this, the movie didn't have subtitles, but this one does. So I'm going to show you how to extract it. Um, we've added the two subtitle tracks. There's a whole bunch of other information when you in the other videos that you have to eliminate. And this is what you want to have kept checked. Okay, You're not going to touch anything in here. All you're going to do is press the DMX button and then select the folder where you want it and press start. Okay, So now that we've done that, you're going to shut this down. We're going to end up with these files that show up. Let's get rid of this for a second. Uh, delete. OK, so you're going to end up with these folders here, these files, one, two, three, four. The top one, if I expand it, oh, wrong way. Let's go full screen here, show you a little more easier. There you go. Dot two six four is your video file, dot DTS is your audio, and dot sup and dot sup are your subtitles. So now we need to extract the four subtitles. So you're gonna load up BD sub to sub. You're gonna see this. Now we need to discover which one's a subtitle. Now I already tested this one. This one uh, is a subtitle with black in the background. We'll load it anyway just to show you. Don't touch anything. See how it's black background with white? Okay. But what we want to do is we want to load the one, the other one. Okay. Ignore that. That doesn't mean anything. Press OK. Okay, so now when you got the subtitle loaded, I already know this one's not the the forced because I went through it already. This is the one that has the forced. So what we're going to do is we're going to go full screen and we're going to show you. See where it says forced? No. We're going to select one and we're going to press the arrow key down and we're going to watch this. And if it changes, we know there's forced built, built embedded in here. Ah, oh, there's one. Okay, so he wants you, spoken in Russian, this customer is a pig in Russian, he's waiting outside, and then these are the normal ones that you would see if you enable subtitles, but if you don't want subtitles and you just want it forced, you want to extract the ones that say yes out of it. See how it says yes? Okay, so let's show you how to do it. This is one type of subtitle, we'll talk about the next type in a second. It's like one, it's like file. Save export. So this is German. You want to switch to English. And we want to press export only forced. Press save. Once that's done, we shut this down. Now you'll notice there's two files created. Uh, exp.idx and .sub. These two you're, we're going to import into uh, MKV Merge. So now the next step you need to do is load MKV Merge. 
and you're going to get this screen. We want to add this track first. Well, it's a video. You want to add the audio, which is the DTS. Then we want to add the exp.idx that we created. Okay, so now that's done. Next step we need to do is we need to load up. Remember when I told you to copy this information in the window um, in TS Musker? If you haven't compressed it, you're going to have it's going to be 1920 by 1080p. If you compress it like it did in my video, it's going to be 720p. The frame rate never changes. TS Musker always sets it to 23.976. So these are the two important things you need to make a note of. This is so that way when you MKV merge the files, the subtitles will be in the correct resolution. Okay, so now that that's done, we're just going to shrink that down. Now I made a little notepad here to tell you what needs to be enabled or disabled. Now this one's going to be 1080p because uh, this is untouched. So I'll just copy that in there. Change that. I do all my mo movies by 1280 by 720, but just for the sake of this tutorial, we'll just do it that way. Okay. So under MP4, select default track track flag. Yes. So all we're gonna do is go MP4, default track flag. Yes. Force no. Okay. Leave that alone. Uh, actually, force track. Yes. Sorry, my mistake. So this is selected. Uh, leave that alone, undetermined, default, and then forced yes. Under this, we're going to go to format options, and we're going to type in the information, this up here. So, highlight it, select one nine two zero by 1080. Remember, I do 720 here, so because I like to compress my movies, but this is for one to one extraction. Okay. Um, FPS, we're going to set it to 23.976. There you go. That's all you're going to do for that. Press on track options. Now, under the DTS audio or AC3, I say leave it alone. Don't touch any of this. And under this one here, you're going to default track, track flag, yes, forced, yes. So default track flag, yes, force, yes. And that's it. So those are your settings to set up for subtitles in MKV. Uh, don't save that. You shut this down now. Shut that down. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to find out where the movie is going to be. So it's going to create the movie in DX, Movie X, and then it's going to create this track. So what we do is we just change our track, call it Movie X with subs. You name it whatever you want, okay? And then we're just going to press the Start Mux button. Now this is going to take about 18 minutes to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause this and uh, we'll continue in 18 minutes when this is done. And then we're going to call up the movie. We're going to play a segment and we're going to show you uh, the part where there's no subtitles and where they start to speak Russian and then it drops off to no subtitles again. And we'll show you that this will activate automatically an NPC without any user intervention. So let's pause her up and we'll continue once this gets to 18 minutes. Okay, guys, so now we're back. Ten seconds left. Should be any time now. Should be done. There you go. Took 17 minutes and 17 seconds. So that we've done that. We can shut this all down. Let's open up our uh, MPC folder. MCP player. Let's open up a file. Let's go find our uh, 
movie acts with subtitles and in this folder here we now have this folder here called movie X with subs All right and we're going to open it turn the volume down okay now we're going to blank out the picture because you can't see it due to copyright let's go find the Russian scene Okay, now we found it. Just take about a minute. It's a, it's a real quick scene where he'll speak Russian. So what happens is right now, you can't see the video, but they're walking over the bridge, talking. Now they come up on the street walk here. A car pulls up behind them. And then uh, they're upset with her because she's kind of like a prostitute. And here we go. I'll unblank the part with the subtitle. And I'll see if this shows up. There you go. He's speaking Russian. More Russian. She speaks back to him in Russian. He hits her. And then speaks some more Russian. Puts her in the car. But as you see, when they're not when they're not speaking Russian, the subtitles disappear, and that's what you want. You want four subtitles only. So that way, uh, right now he's speaking in English now again to him, and there's no subtitle. So we know that the four subtitles work. Let's uh, right click. Let's, uh, let's take you back to uh, the beginning of the movie. We'll just pause it right here. Take the uh, the uh, blurriness off the screen so you can see what I'm doing now. Okay, right click. Now you see when the movie loads, the subtitles are automatically enabled. And it selects the English automatically, which is the forced. If we go up to filters, you can also see under here, under FD show, it selects A and English automatically and that's what's selected now what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you, you're using this player you go to options and you go over to uh, miscellaneous under subtitles make sure that these two items are checked it's very important if they're not checked you're gonna have problems so now if you play another movie that that doesn't have subtitles What's going to happen is it'll play without subtitles through the whole movie. Now, with that type of movie, it gives you the option to right-click, go to subtitles, and turn it on. Okay? So that way you have subs through the whole movie. Or, you could do it this way, where you just have forced only show up when watching the movie. So there you go. That's the test, guys. That's how you do subs. Now, let's we're going to talk about another type of subtitle real quick before I, sh I end this video. Um, let's go find our subtitle 2 again, our movie X, and our DMOX. Now, you notice how these two these two files here, they're called dots up. Sometimes what Hollywood does is, they do what, what they've done to this movie, they've put the subtitle and the force in one file, okay? Sometimes you'll come across where the subtitle will be in one file, and the force will already be split up into a second file. So if you wonder why throughout this whole series why I've checked all the English subtitles is because you don't know what you're going to get until you demux it and you actually look at it in that BD sub to sub program to determine whether it's forced built into the file or whether it's a separate file by itself. And we found out that it was forced built into the file so all we had to do is extract the forest only, which created these two files, which you saw earlier. And then we muxed it back up into MKV structure, and we ended up with this. So the size of the file doesn't change. It's still the same size file, 23.5 gig. This isn't a compression utility. All this is is just a container to allow force subs to play in MPC. 
So thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe. And uh, the next video I plan to make is uh, teaching you guys how to take the HDMI signal into a LCD TV and ended up with perfect one-to-one -one, uh, blending, shader blending. See, the problem with, uh, let's shut this down here. If you're looking at my desktop, you'll see these trees and the, the snow and stuff. The problem with video with when uh, you play Blu-ray movies into a TV is the color spec isn't set correctly, so you end up with like really uh, blocky banding in the dark scenes. You don't have smooth uh, texture blending in the animations or in frame by frame, or you get some weird looking colors show up. That's because you guys don't have your your colors set right. So, and there's a ton of settings. There's settings on the TV. There's settings on the video card. And uh, there's also settings in MPC uh, and the codecs that all have to be perfectly aligned in order to get a perfect video. Like the same type of video you would get if you put it into your hardware, hardware Blu-ray player. You ever notice the video quality is really beautiful? I'm going to show you how to set your system up so that way that what you get out of your Blu-ray player, you get out of your computer.